Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna have a first look at a new feature coming to SharePoint that will let us visualize our list data in Power BI. So if you haven't come across it yet, Power BI is Microsoft's tool for understanding data. It lets you create charts, reports, and dashboards from data sources like Excel and SharePoint. It can be used as a standalone app, but this recent update integrates Power BI with SharePoint so you can visualize the data in your lists. Rather than starting from scratch, Power BI does a lot of the work for you so you can get results really quickly. This is a nice feature for those of us who aren't familiar with Power BI, but want to just get some quick insights into the data in our lists. It's definitely a feature that anyone can use. So this is my first look at the Power BI visualization for SharePoint lists. And if you stick around to the end, I'll tell you why I wasn't that impressed. When this new Power BI feature is active in your tenant, you can use it with either SharePoint or Microsoft Lists. These two types of lists are essentially the same in this case. You'll see the integrate button and a new item in the list labeled Power BI. Before you can visualize with Power BI, you need a list and you can create a new list in either SharePoint or Lists or use one that you already have. If you want some help to create your list, check out the suggested video now. I'm gonna use this one, which is a list of work I've done for my customers called deliveries. So every time I deliver some work for a customer, like some training, I log it in the list. Then I know how many hours I did for that customer and what to bill them. I have columns in this list for customer name, contact and email, and how many hours I worked, the date I did the work, and what rate I charged. Once I've added some items to my list, I have something to visualize. I can use the integrate button in the toolbar choose Power BI and then visualize the list. If you don't see the Power BI item in this list yet, it's rolling out now and it should be along very soon. You can do this in your browser and you don't need any apps or add-ons to make it work. And I did test this on the SharePoint app on my iPad and it worked just the same. When you press the visualize to list button, a new tab will open up in the browser and now it wants me to sign into Power BI. Remember, Power BI is its own app, so this step is necessary to complete the visualization of the SharePoint data. If you're already using Power BI, then you might not get asked to log in at this point. I'll log in with my Microsoft 365 credentials, so I should be able to just press the sign in button and it will use the account name that I'm already logged in with. Now I'm in Power BI and the visualization is built for me. And before we look at the data, let's have a quick look at the navigation options we have on this page. So you can see there's a file dropdown to save the visual and a publish button. And I'll come back to those later. We also have an edit button here, and this will take me into a full blown version of Power BI that will allow me to do more sophisticated editing to the data. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it with the basic controls I have here. In the middle of the page here, you have a dropdown and that shows you some info on when the data was last updated and which SharePoint list the data came from. In my case, it's deliveries. And over here you have some viewing options so you can change the viewing window and go full screen. And there's some high contrast options for accessibility. And this is a refresh button that should refresh the model when the list is updated. Okay, so now let's take a look at the data below and what Power BI has done with it. You can see it's taken my hours and my charge columns and turned them into sections of the visualization. I can see the total charge and hours here, and that's a sum of both of those columns. And down the bottom here, I can see the list data. What's really cool about this visualization is that it's all interactive. Say I wanted to see how many hours I've worked for customer A. I could just come to the chart in the hours section, click on the bar called customer A, and it would filter by that particular value. So this is now showing me that I did 13 hours for customer A. All of these charts are interactive and the data down here in the list is interactive too. So if I wanted to know how many hours I worked on the intranet workshop with customer A, I could just click on this row and it would show me how many hours and how much I charged for working that hour. 
On the right hand side, it shows me all the columns it picked up from this list in this summarized section. So that's the data that we can see represented in the visualization. You can see that some of the columns are selected and some aren't, and it's taken the charge and the hours column and added them as a series of charts. In both sections, I can see charts for customer, contact, and email. The customer chart is useful because it shows me the total number of hours I work for each customer. I don't think I need the customer contact name or email here though. So I can remove them by coming over to the summarize section, unchecking customer contact and customer email. And now you can see they're both removed from the charge and hours section of the visualization. I am interested in when I did the work and how much I earned during each month. So I'm going to add that by expanding the date in the summarize section and choosing month. That adds a chart that shows me how much I earned and how many hours I worked in each month. Notice that it also changes this list of data at the bottom here too. So if I want the detail, like which actual day I worked, I can see that here. You can also use this filter section to add more detailed filters to your charts. If I expand the filter section here, you'll see it can be filtered by any columns it finds in the visualization. If I click on the monthly charge chart, for example, it changes the filters here to charge and month. So say I wanted to know in which months I earned more than 1000 pounds. To do that, I could click on the month chart and then expand the chart filter over here. Where it says show items when the value, I could add a is greater than filter and then add the value of a thousand. Then I apply that filter and the charts in the charge section will change as you can see. So now I see April and May are still there because they're over a thousand and the others have been filtered out. The last features I wanna show you are publishing and saving. These allow us to publish the visualization and any changes we make to it back to the SharePoint list so other people can view them. Let me show you how it works. When I press the publish button, it asks me to name the visualization. I'll call this one greater than a thousand a month. Now, when I go back to the SharePoint list and the Power BI menu, I can now see the saved version of the visualization in the list and anyone who has access to the list can open it up from here. And back in Power BI, I can save another version of this visualization by saving it as a copy. So for example, if I change the filter to show me months where I earned less than a thousand a month and apply it, you'll see it's now showing me those months in the charge chart over here. So it's changed from April, May. And I can now go back to the file menu and choose save a copy. And I'll call this one less than a thousand a month. Now when I go back to SharePoint, I have the two reports available. And this is awesome because it means that you can set up one or many visualizations just how you want them and then publish them so everyone can use them. But there's a catch. Publishing and viewing visualizations from SharePoint in this way is only possible if you have the Power BI Pro subscription. Everything I've shown you already is available through the Power BI Free, which most people have, but the publishing and the viewing is only available with Power BI Pro. And at the time of writing, Power BI Pro is an add-on that costs around $9.99 US dollars per month. So guys, that is my first look at Power BI visualizations for SharePoint lists. I think the idea and the implementation is great, but the utility is in the report publishing, which requires budget for this extra Power BI Pro subscription. I know how hard it is for my customers to justify coming up with more money to pay for add-ons like this. And I think most people that know Excel relatively well could download the list data in a worksheet and use a pivot table to create the charts and upload the sheet into SharePoint for free. For that reason, I don't think this feature will see a lot of adoption. But anyway, that's my take. What do you think? Are you using it? And how's it working out for you? Let us know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.